Welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. Today I'll be leading you through a yin practice to relieve neck and shoulder tension. So we've all had this before, working, maybe working at a computer for too long or on our phone for too long and the neck and shoulder tension gets really intense. For myself, I've been getting some tension headaches because of a lot of tension in this area. So this is a class that I think will really benefit me and I'm hoping that it will benefit you as well. A couple of props that you might want for this practice, they're not necessarily mandatory, let's say, but you may wanna have a block and maybe a strap handy. It'll just definitely help with some of the poses that we're gonna be holding for a little while. So. That's everything basically you need to know before we get started. And we are gonna start with a very short seated meditation and we will be seated for a little while. So you might wanna sit on top of your block or maybe just put a cushion under your sit bones just so that we know we can be here for a little while. So get yourself comfortable, do what you need. Feel those sit bones connected to the floor and then we'll just softly close the eyes. Feel the spine growing nice and tall up away from that connection to the floor. So we've got this opposition happening in the spine to create length and space between your vertebra. And just start to notice your breath. And I want you to start to imagine that on every exhale, you're creating more and more space in your spine so that each of your little discs are gaining more and more space to stretch out. So with every inhale, we grow maybe a millimeter taller until after a few breaths, maybe we've gained another centimeter. And now adding on to this visualization, on your exhale, I want you to imagine that your shoulder blades are melting down your back. So on the inhale, we envision ourselves growing, getting taller, creating space in the spine. And then on the exhale, we're letting the shoulder blades melt down the back. So creating a longer neck and getting even taller. So we don't need to engage any muscles to envision this melting. We're not forcing the shoulder blades down. We're just letting them give into gravity. So really imagining that melting sensation. Continue with this for another five to 10 breaths. Moving at your own pace. Remembering that image of inhaling to grow taller and exhaling to melt the shoulders. And we'll softly blink the eyes open. We're gonna move into a little neck stretch here. So I'm gonna mirror you. So you're gonna let your left ear fall towards your left shoulder. So we're stretching in through the right side of your neck. And now this here might be enough if you're feeling a ton of tension through the neck. If you'd like to expand it further and intensify, you're gonna take your right hand and just walk your fingertips out on the mat. Taking a deep breath. And then again, if you'd like to intensify further, your left hand is gonna come on top of your head and you just wanna guide, imagine that you're pulling your ear away from your shoulder. So the action is not to push down, it's just to guide your shoulder and your ear apart. So creating space here 
And you may feel this in a bunch of different areas along your shoulder, along your neck. The key is to not push too, too far. We're not reaching our max here. We are gonna hold this for another two minutes or so. So you don't wanna be at your full capacity stretch. We're gently guiding our bodies to create a little bit more space. And if you can, try to imagine that with each inhale and exhale, you're still growing taller. So maintaining that image in our meditation, but we're also creating space with our breath in this area that we're stretching. So take another 10 breaths here, nice and easy. And from here, we've been here for a while. So if your top hand was over your head, you're gonna use that hand to help bring your head back to center. Just helping out our muscles there a little bit. And let's take an inhale to grow fully tall through the spine here. Notice how your right side feels in comparison to your left. And we're gonna go right ahead and repeat that on the other side. So again, inhale to grow tall. Exhale, let's let your right ear fall towards your right shoulder this time. And remember, this might be enough for you here. Maybe you wanna hang out here without adding any of the arms. But if you do, you're gonna take your left fingertips, walk them out on the mat. And maybe taking your right hand, bringing it on top of your head. Again, remembering to guide the ear and shoulder apart. So we're not pushing down, creating compression on the neck. We're just here as a gentle reminder of where we want that stretch to go. And you might notice that one side feels completely, totally different than the other, which is very normal. Especially if you're very dominant with one hand, you might notice that the effects of that trickle up that arm. So that arm has more tension in the shoulder and in the neck. So it's totally normal. Just feel that experience, make notes for yourself and continue to breathe to encourage that space in this area. We'll be here for another minute or so.
And just like we did on the first side, you're gonna take that right hand, use it to help guide your head back to center. So we can give those muscles a little break. And again, let's take an inhale, grow tall, feel both sides of your neck nice and lengthened out here. And to move into our next pose, this might be where you wanna strap. I am gonna use a strap today to do archer arms. So what you're gonna do, if you are using your strap, is take that strap in your right hand, and then we're taking the arm up and over, so your elbow is pointing up towards the sky, and then your left hand will reach around behind you, and then instead of interlacing your fingers, you're just gonna go ahead and grab onto the strap that's behind you. If you don't have a yoga strap, a belt, or even an old shirt will work here. Just anything that's gonna close the gap. As I mentioned, I've been experiencing a lot of shoulder and neck tension recently, so that's my reasoning for using the strap today. I didn't wanna to go to my full extent in this posture here. That's the great thing about yin, is we have the ability to incorporate all these props and to really modify the class to fit our needs. So do whatever works best for you here. Feeling that lengthening through the right arm. As we continue to breathe here, continue to remind yourself to maintain length through the spine. So we're still sitting up nice and tall Still have a nice long neck. And we'll be here for about another minute or so. And if you were holding on to your strap, you want your bottom hand to release first, and then you can let your top arm come back down. And you might just wanna settle for a moment. You might feel some of the blood returning to that right arm. And then we'll go ahead and repeat that on the other side. So now I'm gonna take my strap into my left hand, bringing it up overhead so the elbow's pointing towards the sky. And now I reach the right arm underneath, grabbing a hold of that strap. Resting in a place that feels comfortable that I know I can sit in for a, a little bit of time. And we're gonna take another few minutes here. Remember to stay nice and tall through the spine. Trying to remain focused on the breath. And of course, never placing any judgment on ourselves if the mind starts to wander. We start to think about other things or become detached from the moment. Just 
notice it and then just return to the breath. No need to cast any sort of judgment on those scenarios, being kind and gentle towards yourself. So continuing to breathe here. Gently releasing the bottom arm first and then let the top arm fall to the side. Maybe we'll go through the fingers a little bit, help the blood return to your top arm especially. And we're gonna continue from here. You won't need the strap anymore so you can put that off to the side. And we're gonna come into a melting heart pose or a puppy pose. So coming onto all fours. If you do have a blanket handy, you might wanna place it under your knees just to add a little bit of extra cushion. Otherwise, just coming to all fours with your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. And from here, keeping your hips exactly where they are, 90 degrees over your knees, you're going to walk your hands out until your elbows reach the floor, and then maybe adding your forehead down onto the mat. And now this might be enough for you. We're aiming to feel a nice stretch in between the shoulder blades behind you. But if you'd like to intensify, you're gonna bring your palms together and then bend your elbows so your thumbs reach towards the back of your neck, towards your C7 there, that large, that large vertebra at the bottom of your neck. And while we're here, we know yin is supposed to be a very passive flow, a very passive class. But I want you to feel that you're still engaging ever so slightly through the lower abdominals. So we don't want to release the belly so that we arch through our lower back because that'll cause a little bit too much compression there. And it will actually change how you feel the stretch through your upper body. So you want to feel that you're still engaging through the core to protect that lower back in this pose in particular here. But in the top of your body, through your triceps and through your shoulder blades, you wanna feel that you're melting towards the floor. So in this area, we don't have much engagement at all. We're just holding this pose here and experiencing those sensations, continuing to breathe.
And from here, if your arms were bent, re-extend them out. And just make your way all the way down onto your mat. So your belly is coming down. And we're gonna come into bow tie pose, which is a very intense stretch for in between your shoulder blades. So to do that, you're gonna first come to a sphinx pose. So you're up on your forearms here, but you want your elbows to be a little bit farther away from you so they're not right in close to your rib cage. And then let's take your right arm and you're gonna thread it through the space underneath that left arm. This pose is a little bit tricky for me with my mic, so I may be doing a little bit of extra adjusting here. And then you are gonna take your left arm and cross it over as well. And this is where a block comes in handy, at least for me. You might find that your forehead can go all the way down to the floor, but I always find that a little bit too intense for me. So I'm using the block under the forehead and really extend both of your arms in opposite directions here. So your left arm reaching to the right, your right arm reaching to the left. And as we breathe in this pose, it can get quite intense as we hold it here. So continue to envision that you're creating more and more space between your shoulder blades on each and every inhale. We'll be here for about another two minutes. So try to get comfortable, feel that you're melting into your arms and into your upper body. And to come out of this one, you want to bend in your top arm first, so your left arm, just to lift yourself up and then release the right arm. And we are gonna do this on the other side. So that means your left arm will now be crossing under first. So threading that underneath the right and then re-extending the right arm towards the left. And again, if you were using your block on the first side, you'll want to use it again here. Just melting that upper body into the stretch, continuing to breathe between those shoulder blades. And again, you may find that one side feels very different than the other. Just notice it, breathe through it, make note of what those differences are differences in sensation and continue to breathe.
And very gently, very slowly, make your way out of this posture. You can move your block out of the way. We're gonna come in to a laying chest opener. This is one of my favorite yin yoga poses. It'll get into the front of your chest. I'm, we'll do it to the right first. So you're gonna bend your right arm at a 90 degree angle and bring it right beside you here. Bending your left arm in so it's right beside your shoulder. And then you're gonna bend through both of your knees, push yourself onto your right side. So right away you may feel a fairly intense stretch through the front of your chest, I know I do. Really common mistake here is that the shoulders will sink in closer to the floor, which is gonna eliminate the stretch for you. So we need to engage a little bit through the left palm, push into the floor to keep yourself and your shoulders stacked as best as you can, one on top of another. And you may find that that really intensifies the stretch here. And for me, I'm feeling this through the front of my chest on the right side, all the way up my neck. So I've definitely got some tension issues here. So continue to breathe. And to come on out of this one, you can just lift your legs, roll back onto your belly. And we're gonna go right away to the other side. So taking your left arm, bending it at 90 degrees right beside you. Right hand is bent in right beside that shoulder, bending through both of your knees and then rolling onto the left. Again, remembering to stack your shoulders as best as you can. So we're not collapsing in towards the floor, but we're really propping that right shoulder up so that we can intensify the stretch here on the left side.
very gently and slowly rolling back onto your mat. And you can keep rolling in that direction to come into Shavasana. So it may feel, especially because we just did a upper body focused class, it might feel that you want to skip Shavasana, but I think it's super, super important, especially with some of those deep postures, that we give the body a chance to recalibrate and to really integrate all of that work. So take some time here to tune in to any sensations you might be feeling, especially in your upper body. Maybe take note what feels different from the start of our practice to now. And continue to imagine that you're breathing into these areas, allowing more room, more space, more length. So this is where I will leave you for today. Feel free to take a longer Shavasana if you wish. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. And thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully I will see you on the mat again soon. Namaste.